Hey what's up guys, Exalted here, and before I start the video, I just wanted to say thank you everybody so much for using my supported creator code Exalted. Uh, if you would like to be displayed on screen, here's a couple shoutouts to certain people, go ahead and uh, tweet me a picture of you using it, or send me a message on Discord, I really appreciate it, maybe you'll see your name in the next video. With that being said, let's get right into today's video where I'm going to be talking about how to adapt to the new ban on stretched resolution and why it's really not going to be so bad. Now to start off today's video, I kind of want to talk about kind of the pros to stretch resolution, what it is a little bit, give some background on it, and kind of why people used it. So first of all, stretched resolution um, has a few really good positive things to it. First of all, and most likely the most common reason why people would switch to stretch resolution is because of their frames. Uh, stretch resolution uh, literally puts less pixels that your uh, computer has to load slash render, and it boosts FPS. Um, the more stretched you go, the more FPS you see, and you definitely notice a pretty significant difference. Um, on top of that, the next biggest reason why people would use stretch resolution is to adjust their FOV. Uh, stretch resolution gives you a vertical field, field of view that increases the more stretched that you go. This means you can see up and down more and more as you get more stretched. This is insanely useful for scrims. The reason why is because when you're boxing up in, uh, when you're boxing up and constantly running through scrims, when there's tons of people above you, below you, to the right and left, it is very easy to see people above you without not without having to jump and look over your your wall or whatever. You could practically stand there, and you could really you could just super easily see what's above you, what's below you, and it it really just increases your field of view. Recently, Epic just announced that they are going to be banning stretched resolution in competitive game modes. Um, this mainly includes, I'm assuming, the arena modes and tournaments and pop-up cups. And a lot of people are super mad. Uh, personally, I'm kind of happy for it, and you probably won't hear that opinion from many other people. Uh, the reason why I'm kind of enjoying this uh, change is because... There is always going to be somebody with a more stretched resolution than you are on. Uh, let's say you're playing something insanely stretched, like 1080 by 1080. When I made my video about 800 um, by 1080, which is super stretched, it's almost stupid, I got a lot of comments saying that people actually use 800 by 1080 simply because that is the only resolution that they can run to actually get enough frames to play Fortnite. So there are a lot of people out there that are actually using insanely stretched resolutions. Now this means they can see you from angles that you cannot see them. Um, it is very difficult to see them, they can see you, so they are, the, they are planning how they're gonna kill you while you don't even know they're there. I guarantee you there have been so many times where you have gotten one pumped in the face simply because their resolution was more stretched than yours was. With this change in ban on stretch resolutions, it'll make the playing field a lot more even. So if you are a good player, if you've got the 200 IQ plays, this is going to be your time to shine. You will start to, you'll notice your gameplay will get much better. You will get much less unlucky. It'll also make endgame scrims easier. The reason why endgame scrims are going to be easier is because people can't see everything. So they're going to be stuck in their box and they can only really see right and left unless they make uh, certain plays to kind of gain vision above and below them. Uh, so this is going to make it so you don't have those crazy people just shooting at you from random angles and trying to get into your box because they won't be able to see you as easily. Uh, so that's definitely going to be a positive, but it's also going to probably, I predict, make a lot more people in the late game. And if you're not aware of your surroundings, uh, you will definitely get in trouble for that. For the people that are very annoyed because they are one of the users that uses stretch resolution to increase their FPS, there is a very easy fix for that. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show a couple resolutions on screen that you can change your game to that will keep the native resolution aspect ratio, but it'll just slightly lower the quality so that you get the exact same quality and the exact same performance as you did on whatever stretch resolution you were using. Uh, this completely eliminates the need for uh, 
people complaining that they won't get frames because they can simply just lower their game to 720p or even lower and I, like I said I've got a, a screenshot up here showing you what those different uh, ratios are so if you are a player that um, <clears throat> doesn't have the strongest PC and is using stretch resolution to maximize your FPS I highly suggest that you go ahead and uh, use one of these resolutions because like I said it'll still be native uh, it will be allowed it'll just kind of lower the quality a little bit the, to the exact amount that your stretch resolution lowered the quality. So now we're going to talk about adapting to this change. If you are a casual player and you don't play in pop-up cups, you're not very competitive, you just play regular game mode solos, duo squads, you should be good to go. Uh, Epic said that they will not ban stretch resolution for uh, regular game modes. They're only banning stretch resolution for competitive game modes like tournaments and pop-up cups. I'm not sure if arena mode counts. Uh, I think it does, but don't mark my words on that. So if you are a competitive player, you're wondering what do I do and when do I do it? Now, a lot of players right now, uh, starting right after the announcement, people are going to be switching to native resolution. That way they can get used to the change as soon as possible and they can be ready to go so they know how to play uh, for when the tournaments do start. Now, there's a couple things you want to keep in mind when deciding when you want to switch to stretch resolution. First of all, how you want to do it. If you play on an insanely stretched resolution like 1154 or 1080 by 1080, um, jumping to native resolution is going to be a huge difference. It's going to be almost like playing a different game. Personally, what I suggest you do is I suggest you do it in little increments. So maybe go from... Um, I don't know all the resolutions perfectly, but maybe go from 1080 to 1080 and then jump up to like 1250 or 1279, whatever, whatever it is by 1080, then go up to 1444 and then finally 1600 before you go to native. Uh, that should really help as the game will literally look completely different. Your gameplay style will completely change. On top of that, most players are going to take advantage of their stretch resolution as long as they possibly can. Uh, they're used to it. They don't like change. Most people don't like change because change you have to adapt to and it's just more work. This means that people aren't going to switch to native resolution until they have to. Um, so while you are currently switching, if you were to switch right now, you would still be playing against a lot of players that are using stretch resolution. The problem with this is you are learning how other stretch resolution play, players play and how they and, and you're learning how to adapt to those play styles. The second the tournament comes and everyone switched and switches to native, everyone's going to play completely different. So everything you've learned this past couple weeks um, on how to play native, how to counter other people playing stretched, it's going to be pretty much irrelevant once actual once everyone actually switches to a native. So keep that in mind. Uh, you do not want to adapt playing on native resolution against other stretch players because they play different. They can see you in different ways when you can't see them. They do completely different things. What I suggest in a perfect world would everyone would switch to native resolution at the exact same time and we could all adapt extremely quickly and get used to native. Obviously, that's not how it's going to work, but those are a few things to keep in mind. Getting used to native is going to be very difficult, but at the same time, if you're getting used to native playing against stretch resolution players, all that information that you gain is going to be completely useless once everyone actually does switch to native. So keep that in mind. This is why I suggest increments, because the point of this is to get used to, to native resolution. You're not trying to get used to how other players play. Overall, I really think that banning stretch resolution is going to actually be very positive for Fortnite competitive. Uh, it's really going to eliminate a bunch of unfair visual advantages that other players have, whether it's PC over console especially, uh, or whether it's just a player with a more stretch resolution than you do. Like I said previously in the video, they won't have that visual advantage anymore when they're playing on native, so if you are a good player, if you're a smart player, um, you will really, really thrive. Uh, every single person is going to have to get used to native resolution, but after a day of playing it, you should get used to it pretty quickly. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you kind of learned something from this video. And on top of that, if you agree with me or absolutely completely disagree with me, let me know in the comments. I'm actually really, really curious to see what you guys think. Because personally for me, I kind of thought that this change was pretty straightforward. Uh, but when I found out that everyone was super mad, of course I could see why they like their stretch resolution. But I was definitely surprised that people were mad at a more level playing field. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. And if you want to support me and maybe be featured in my next video, use code EXALTED in the item shop. It helps me out a lot. Peace out, guys.